Hello my fellow YouTubers. You may be wondering why you're staring at my dirty carpet. Well, I have well a few announcements to make. One is that the North Carolina Gun Bunnies is doing an invitational at Mace this year. Yours truly has qualified to get into it. So at Mace this year I will be playing in a Death Clock tournament. I'm pretty excited. I was surprised that I got into it, but being as I took third in the tournament, the top other two had already placed or weren't going to play in it. I'm pretty happy. Um, item two, and the reason you're staring at my floor, is that I have acquired a conquest. That is quick fix. I'm moving up into the big leagues. I picked up this gentleman, and he, at, after the tournament today, I guess you could say it, well, I was on a, a high from having been told I was going to get in. I didn't win any of the money prize, but still got part of this, and then some of the birthday money I had went into it. Um, so, a little bit of an unboxing, as I haven't seen anybody do one. I have taken him out of the box. Yes, those are my feet. Um, he comes in this. Then you have... Two bits of foam packed here, and that's his torso. Not a whole lot of mold lines or anything else. I'm pretty pleased with how it looks. One of his shoulders, all the, the resin, the resin that we've seen and such from uh, Rocketeer Press. I don't know how well it's going to show up. My, I would normally be doing this in my studio, but as you can tell, my table is over there. Because down my hallway, my floor is naked. We're putting in a new floor. Um, and you get a base, and you get a giant ass rec marker. Alright, and. Hope you're not getting motion sickness here, folks. You get a set of... I was very happy to see these. You get a set of directions for how to put this thing together. They're not great directions. They're not insert tab A into slot B. But, you get directions. Very happy to see these. Big thumbs up to Privateer Press for this. Um, and then we get to the models. Here, let me turn my monitor off to get rid of some... Sorry about that, folks. I had to do a battery change. Um, at any rate, as you can see, you get the clamshell. All of this was in the clamshell. Um, you, you, and this was packed. I mean, when I picked up this box, it easily felt the weight of two warjacks. Now, these are the legs. These alone way close to what one of my all-metal warjacks do. I mean, this is a lot of metal. Of course, it's supporting a lot of weight, so you want it to be fairly stout. The, uh, the feet came out pretty good. Some old lines, but you expect that with metal. Um, the rest of the bits, I, I'm very pleased with the kit and how it looks. Uh, the only issue is without the directions it would have taken me a very long time to figure out what all these bits and bobs were. Bits and bobs. I'm taking after some of the British guys I listen to on YouTube. Shoulder bit. This is the big the main gun or the big gun, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty potent. Secondary guns. Um the book's been released. I'm not going to show you the card because I think that might be wrong of me to do even though it's been leaked all over YouTube. I'm not going to do it. I will show you his the artwork on the on the front which is just his damage grid. They've got the damage grid and the artwork from the book. And then rules on the back. More rules on the back, and no, I'm not showing you the front of this card, but it has his main guns, his left and right field of fire, left and right fist. Very, very well done kit. I will 
be putting this together at some point in the future. Um, some of his fisty bits and stuff for the main guns. And hopefully uh, we'll have him ready for the tournament in November. Uh, I had thought about um, commissioning him, but since I'm going to want him in November, I might not do that. And General, if you're watching, I'm still going to contact you about this over email, but uh, I may be contacting you for a different commission. And I'll explain that in the email. Um, anyway, guys, this is the kit. Let me know what you think. It's, uh, it's a good kit. There are some, some mold injection points. Um, the model needs some cleanup. I'm not... I, I've been touching most of the models and everything. And I'm not feeling a real powdery residue. But what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to wash the bits anyway. Just to make sure that I've gotten all the mold release off of them. So that when I do the paint job, it will uh, pop up appropriately. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with the model. Um, it will take me a little bit of time to put it together. I'm going to have to clean them all, everything all, all like that. So, you know, a bit of a pain in the dough. But, but, very good model. Well worth the money. Um, but at least the model's worth the money. Now, I'll see what my dice do when I put them on the table. Main thing, again directions. I was so happy to see these. It was not funny. Alright. Um, that's pretty much it with the channel. Or with uh, with me. Not a lot else going on. The only other update... Well, there's, t there's two more updates. Uh, the first being I have actually lost 25 pounds and am still going down in weight. Um, so... Anybody who wants to know more about that, contact me and I'll give you some of the details. It's, uh, easiest way to, to do it, my wife and I have been doing this together. She's lost weight, I've lost weight. And having a partner is a huge help. Um, the well now fourth thing is that uh, my wife is pregnant. I will be a father in nine months. Well seven and a half at this point so YouTube um, I will be home a lot more probably which means I'll probably be making a few more videos and which probably means since I'm gonna be having a kid the money's gonna dry up a little bit faster than it, than it has so stuff like this probably not gonna get bought all that often uh, any of you guys that have kids out there that still war game know that the budget goes to the children first and then if you have spare cash after the wife gets hold of it at any rate that's the update I am very excited to have the conquest um, I know there's a new tier list for Epic Sorsha and where she can run two conquest whether or not I ever actually buy a second conquest will determine how the playtest of that particular list go um, but it looks like a very interesting list but again I have a conquest um, one thing I might try to do and I'll, I'll you know I like how his feet are but I might try to make his fist a little bit different or something I don't know I might not try any conversions on this one but at any rate I hope everybody's doing well continue war gaming um, one question I do have when covering a model of this size and magnitude, especially as you know, you've seen the picture of it, I've only got brushes. I don't have any airbrushes. Does anybody know if you can like rent an airbrush, or is it just easier to buy an airbrush and set up and start painting that way? Anybody who's used airbrushes a lot, please please comment, send me a message, let me know. Have a good one. One other thing I would be remiss if I did not mention. A friend of mine has been very kind and given me a lot of practice against Cricks and Signar and anything else I wanted him to run in preparation for this tournament. Um, so because he was so kind in helping me, he has been he uh, is pretty much the reason I, I did as well as I did because he threw so much at me that I was able to 
to think on my feet and everything else. Um, kind of as a thank you to him, I picked up a Scarlock Thrall for him. He runs Crixus, his main army. He doesn't have a Scarlock Thrall. So he will be getting this. I may see if the general will paint it up for me because, well, my buddy's a good guy, but he never paints his models, and I would like to see this painted. At any rate, have a good one.